In this video, we will be having a look around at the former Q line starting from Hawthorne to Q in eastern Melbourne suburb Victoria. Hawthorne is a ground level understaffed station on the Belgrove, Lilydale and Alamein lines serving the eastern Melbourne suburb of Hawthorne. The station features three platforms, an island platform with two faces and one side platform. Today the station still operates by Metro Extrapolis trains running to and from Alamein, Belgrave and Lilydale. It runs limited express services to and from Belgrave, Lilydale and Ringwood including all station services to and from Blackburn on weekdays. Let's watch a Metro Extrapolis train arriving and departing Hawthorne station on the down Blackburn service. Platform 1, the island platform where I'm standing, is part of the railway line to Kew. The Kew line was located 6 kilometres from the CBD. The line from Hawthorne to Kew was opened on the 19th of December 1887 and was officially closed on the 13th of May 1957. The train still departs the station and passes through the Burwood Road Bridge outside the station and passes through the Egan Street Bridge. It passes through the Power Street Bridge. The Q Line was a single railway track located 1.5 miles and 2.4 kilometres in length, departing from the western side of Hawthorne Station and running parallel to the Lilydale Line for several hundred metres before curving to the north between the Grace Park and Glen Ferry Oval. The car park outside the tennis court is the single track that the line entered a curve cutting that joins the Q Line. The first train to Kew hauled by steam locomotive D3789 ran from Princes Bridge at 5.40am on the 19th of December 1887 with no formal celebrations being taken on the day. Let's take a train ride on the Kew line.
Barker is the first station out of Hawthorne, was an intermediate station. A motel was built where the station was located but has since been closed and demolished. This picture on this poster shows a good view of Barker station before it was taken on the day. And now everything is all demolished and gone. The station only had one platform. The station was opened on the 19th of December 1887 and was closed with the line on the 13th of May 1957. The station was located between Barkers Road and Hawthorne Grove and has since been demolished. In 1915 there was an attempted robbery reported at the station and controversies with the lack of the shelter of the station. This photo of Barker Station was taken by Keith Atkinson on the 18th of May 1957. The line went through Barker's Road and into the private car park outside Xavier College. The gate is closed because it owns by Xavier College private car park property. Q is the terminus station of the Q railway line. The station was opened on the 19th of December 1887. The station only had one platform the same as Barker station. The line ceased operations in August 1952 but the line and the station were officially closed on the 13th of May 1957 and subsequently demolished. The station was located on Denmark Street, the headquarters of Vic Roads now stands on the site. On the 18th of August 1952, the last regular passenger train ran the line marking the end of its 65 year service to the people of Kew. This train was running by the old Swinging Doors Red Rattler train. Here on Wellington Street, the station is also located on Stratford Avenue. The fence in front of me where I'm standing is really hard to see where the station was located downhill from Wellington Street. It's even a beautiful lovely day outside in Kew while we are exploring the former Kew line. Let's take a walk down to Stratford Avenue. On the street there is not much to see where all the trees and the fences are located where the station was located. The street ends outside of Xavier College Tennis Court which is now a private property. And there you have it, this is the Q railway line on the former Q line. But the question remains, will rail and trains ever return to Q in years to come? Let us know in the comments below.